right, hello everyone. I am Professor Caudill. Today we're on 71. So last time we made some progress. So we have a vector going this way. It's a plane, a flying plane. So I think we found the this angle in the magnitude, magnitude 32, and it's going to 15 degrees. So what they're asking is if it goes 45 degrees this way, It goes 45 degrees and then 45 degrees. What is that? So we are going to take, so this is difference is 10 degrees. So we're, we are going to take, we know that we know the hypotenuse. So we could say tangent 10 degrees is, so we could say opposite is, let's call this tangent is X, sorry, opposite over Opposite over hypotenuse. So A over 32. So 32 tangent Okay. So what do we know? Um, so we know the opposite is, we don't know the opposite. We can make a custom version of this, I guess. Insert below. Toa. Finding. Opposite given Okay, so the hypotenuse Hype Might be spelled wrong, um, just FYI. Uh, 32, our angle is 10 degrees. We're gonna convert this into radians. So the opposite Opposite is it's going to be this hypotenuse times the tangent of the angle in radians. So we're getting five. Let's let's round it to six. Okay, so now we know 
32 squared equals 6 squared. So then once you find that, then it's very easy. You don't have to do any of the trig. You can just do this formula plus B squared. So you're going to take uh, you're going to take 32 squared minus 6, 36, 988 square root of that. Uh, let's do dot e dot f 31 b equals 31 meters So, um, if I want to get more accurate, I guess we could do 5.4 squared 31. Okay. Um, the numbers are kind of close, but I think that is so that's the distance. So, you have to fly 31 kilometers, kilometers. He has to fly 31 kilometers southwest, south of west, and then six kilometers west of north, west, north, yeah, west of north, yeah, so. I think that's what they are asking. All right, next one, 72. Taylor coordinates are given by So 2y P of R polar coordinates that is equal to R pi over six. Find R and Y. Okay. So This kind of breaks my my plan here, given x and y. So if we have two, let's just say let's say y is one. If y is one, then we have Okay, we want pi over two. So pi, I mean pi over six. So point five. Hey, that's pretty pretty close. So that is very close. <laughs> so I guess. That's it's kind of lucky for us, I guess. If R is two one, then P R is P R is zero point five. Nope, oh, that's wrong. In PR two one, then PR is two. Right, uh, Y is one. If Y is one,
Okay, so... Oh, yeah, so I just look at this, too. Oh, yeah, so we already calculated that. that that's what I was missing, 0.5, or pi over 6. Okay, um... So, lucky us. I don't know if that's luck or if that's good math intuition. Maybe it's hard to differentiate that at some point. 73. If the polar coordinates are... R phi and it's rectangle R X Y Okay, so When RP is one one, then P is one zero point eight. Okay. So we want to know when X is negative Y. If it's a negative x, then so yeah, so here I'm saying. So essentially we're saying 1r to phi, I think, but it'd be a little bit more than 2 phi. Hmm. I wonder if I can just do this in symbols. I really want to hear. Okay, so this is saying if RP is, so this would be negative X. Whoops, and so I'm taking
negative x. So if r, p is a negative x, y, then the polar coordinates are x squared plus y squared So I think that'd be our answer. Very abstract. Um, negative two x, negative two y. Let's rewrite this as so. This is kind of a special case. I don't know if I'll reuse this, but we'll. I'm just gonna rewrite. I'm just going to rewrite it. So A is a constant. A, B equals so instead of changing it uh, negative 2, negative 2 so it's supposed to be A this would be B A Be clear, this would be A, this would be okay. The rectangle coordinates of if R is negative two X, negative two Y, then Writing this in polar would be two square root x squared minus y squared over two. That's point one. Point two would be inverse tangent of negative two y, negative two x mod two pi. Okay. Three x three y three x. Three x, three y. They're both negative, positive, negative. Okay, if R is negative three, is three x, negative three y. Polar coordinates are. Three square root 
x squared minus So, I think even if someone was good at math, they might have missed the mod 2 pi if they didn't have this calculator. So, I think this is pretty novel part on us. All right, 74, A, B, identical magnitudes of five. Okay, so we wanna find theta. So this is saying Oh, five cosine theta a five sine theta a plus five cosine theta b plus five sine theta b equals 5 square root 2j. All right, so what are we, what are we doing here? I guess we could rewrite this as we can rewrite this as a so five spread of two J can be rewritten as J is that's just ninety degrees. So I'm not sure how to do that from here. Find the angle between them. Okay. So we could, I guess we could factor. Need more more tools is cosine a plus cosine b equals cosine a plus b. 
Okay, so we can't do that. So I, we can't simplify this for sure. So I can't pull out a five here. I can't pull out a five here. So, and then these fives cancel. So this is the same as saying cosine a Square root of two J. So if you're not following these, this is this is A in component form, this is B in component form. Okay. So what can we do here? We could take maybe I can break this up into a system of equations. Okay, then that would mean angle of theta is angle of B equals cosine negative one No, no, it's not a complex number. No, it's not a complex number. It's a unit vector, I think. Pretty sure it's not, okay. Hmm, okay. These are J's. I don't know why I keep... Okay, so it is 0 square root of 2 
right hand side is purely imaginary so that means these are purely imaginary so that's crazy saying then that means so this point nine Okay, so that means okay, so then if we have this, then we can plug that in. So cosine zero point nine minus theta B. plus cosine theta b is this is that vector so same deal 0 0.9 minus theta b plus theta b equals so we are going to get zero point nine So it means all this is I, so equals 0 0.9, which is the same as saying 1 equals 1. So theta B is 1, I think. Okay, so let's say theta B is 1. So... Now I'm in the waters. I don't. We're we're kind of like who knows where we're at right now, but we're this far. Might as well keep keep going. So let's go ahead and find the magnitude. So we have a magnitude of one. We have an angle of one. So that means. I guess I am just curious. Cosine one. And I one. Okay, so cosine, let's see, so cosine 1 is 0.5, so we have cosine 
Okay, so now, now I need to do this for the signs. So sign. So we're taking a sign of screwed two. So we're going to get okay, a more complicated number. Um Theta A. I guess it shouldn't. I mean, we don't know theta B, so it should be more simple, right? So sine theta A plus sine 1. Sine 1. Point A4. So theta A is the inverse sine of a sine of this of root two minus that point six equals zero point six. Okay, so now I'm going to do X that. So A is 30 degrees, B is, B is 1, okay, so So if that's a, so then we're going to do a plus sine one. Divide by the square root of Theta B is fifty nine degrees. I have about a three percent confidence, but I gave you an answer. Um, I guess we could try to find given. Here A and B have the same magnitude, five. What is the angle between A and B? 
if a plus b equals root of 2 times a Okay, hmm, that is between our numbers. Okay, if the angle, if they, uh, can I do like a Pythagoras theorem of angles here? If is, is an angle between them? If this is 41, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to try. Thirty-five, thirty-nine. Please be forty-one. Sixty-eight, sixty-nine degrees. Sixty-nine, not quite forty-one, but who knows if the language model is right. Uh, so the the dot product should have came to mind. Should have came to mind. So the angle between two vectors is given by the dot product. So the angle angle of two vectors. So angle of A and B. Should be equal to a angle between a and b should be equal to a dot b And that's times 180 over pi degrees. So this would be a good addition to this. So and it looks like I've already calculated that. So what I could have done Um, So I'm trying to put this in vector form so I can do the dot product of A times B, but we don't know. I guess we do know. Man, this is tough. Okay, so what if I did A in component form is 5 cosine theta. That's five times sine theta. Okay. Could be theta. Could be its own theta though. Oh, 
a way to write a and b in vector form. All right, this is not what I was expecting. Um, I get the sentiment though. Wouldn't these be like a U and V? Like why are they the same direction? Don't these be U and B, not U and U? Oh, can you assume? Okay, so it's basically saying Okay, so it's saying So we're finding a We're finding a dot b given that So Cosine AB twenty five times twenty five because five times five is A dot B and it's saying that is equal to two J So theta is it saying this is the inverse cosine of twenty five equals five square root of two. So where did the A drop off? Where did the J? Where did the J drop off? Magnitude cosine times one Okay, so I guess they're just saying it's J's one I mean, I know J is one, but it's a vector, so it's like you have to. Okay, so. And shouldn't this be 25? Five. Two times five. Where did this five come from? Yeah, I don't trust this at all. Where did this where did this five come from? Uh 
let's So now it's 82 degrees. So I think this is more likely. Um, I'm not seeing like how, like how do you, how do you turn J into the magnitude? Like I know the magnitude of J is one, but what, what's the reasoning? What's the reasoning for taking the magnitude of, of J? What's the reasoning for removing J? It's like I can't get it to explain its reasoning. So that's why it's not like a great teacher. Okay, so. I guess the second sentence makes sense, so it's saying A plus A plus B equals It's basically saying we have a vector going up a magnitude of two which is A plus B. Magnitude of A plus B. So what was the crux of this? The crux was thinking I should the, my first thought should have been angle between two vectors. I should have immediately thought of uh whatever, the dot product. So, the information they gave me was this. So, the question was essentially and it says that's equal to root of I. So, in a sense, it's saying a dot b is square root of two i. That should be cosine. So. What, what what is this not coming to mind is like how do you shouldn't shouldn't this be a dot b is it's a number this is a vector so this doesn't make sense unless you know you know what I'm saying this is saying a dot b is saying it's two times the vector this is a j zero one okay. So saying a dot b is 
the vector square root of 2 is what this is saying. But the definition of dot product is a number, not a vector. If one of, of the components of a two component vector is zero, then can the vectors be mathematically referred to as a as that number ample and I say zero root of two is ordered pair. So like now I get now I'm getting it to contradict itself. So I don't I think this question is just poorly written. This J should have just been removed. If it was just A plus B Okay, so then if you remove J, then it doesn't make sense. Because that now you need vector addition results in vector addition. Unless it's, if it's like five, let's say it's three, zero, one. What, let's, what if it's five, square root of two, one, zero, plus, zero vector. It's the thing, I, I don't get how vector addition... Okay, what if it's five, one, zero, plus square root of two, negative one, zero. Then you get Yeah, I'm just very confused with with this question. This is this is the most confusing question I've received in the book. Not because it's hard, it's just it's conflicting with kind of how things are defined. Um, maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know. So we got we're kind of about out of time. We can we can kind of get started on this one, I guess. Think about it overnight. Um, starting on an island in Moy. Fishing boat makes a round trip. So we have an island. Fishing boat makes a round trip. Okay. So this is M, P, so the displacement vector of M to N Four point seven six sails in a direction north of east, northeast, so thirty seven. Okay, and Uh, 
from Noi. Sixty nine degrees west of north. So I don't know how far it goes. So it's really going like this northwest, northeast, west of north. So, so 69 degrees west of north. So that's 90 plus 69, 100 plus 59. And then Sales B cosine south e east of south. So that's one eighty plus twenty eight. So two o eight B this is uh this is A this is B cosine two zero eight. Okay, so what is this saying? Um, so this is that, this, that. So we want to find A and B. So D of all of them, uh, I guess the sum of all of them. Okay, so so. Four three plus Okay, so I already know this is gonna end up as a system of equations. Um one Negative x uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it more exact. So then we have plus zero negative zero point nine a zero point four a Negative zero point nine B minus zero point five B zero. Okay, so what's what's going on here? So we're going to say 
we're gonna have a matrix 0 0.9 0 0.4 0 0.9 0 0.5, 3.8, 2.9. Okay, so row one, that's so what this is, 9 tenths, so we're going to take 10 ninths. So negative 10 ninths, row one, equals... One, one, we're going to take point four point two. Now we can take 0 0.4 row 1 minus row 2. So it's going to be 0. So we have 0.4 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.9. Point four times four point two minus Point six. I want to recheck this one. So we have point four times one minus point point nine. So this is a positive point nine. Okay. Um, we can do row two ten ninths. So point nine times ten ninths could be one. Okay. Four point six. So we have so one, one, four point two, five point one, one, zero. Now we're going to do row two minus We'll take row one minus row two. So that's going to give us one zero something zero one five point one. So we're taking four point two minus four point one point nine. Okay, so this is saying. A is negative 0 0.9, B equals 5.1, therefore, A is 0 0.A, Okay, therefore, the distance between these is so Then we take Pythagoras theorem, 0 0.84, 
and negative 0 0.32. So D equals 0 0.9 nautical miles of NP. And then, oh, I messed up, didn't I? Uh, no, 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 I didn't. I'm fine. Uh, 5.1. 8. We're going to take this number here. Take this number here. And then uh, D E M is 16 nautical miles. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for staying a little longer. Uh, next time we will start on 76 air traffic controller. All right, I'll see you next time.